So in this video, we're going to be focusing on just i, j, and k and using the vector product. Now, um, what we previously saw was that right-hand rule with i, j, and k. So uh, with the right-hand uh, thumb, next finger, next finger, i, j, k. Okay? And now, if you're going around uh, anti-clockwise, then that is the correct process. So i cross j is k. Then j cross k is i. K cross I is J. If at any point you reverse the direction, then you get negative. So J cross I is minus K. Okay? So if you reverse around going clockwise, then you are going to get negative. If you're going anti-clockwise, you're positive. So when you've got things like this, yes, you could set it up in a matrix and find the determinant of that and use the regular vector product. But because we now know that the vector product is distributive over addition, over vector addition, um, and consequently subtraction, as can be shown, uh, that allows us to shortcut some of these questions. By the time we get to G, it's not going to feel like much of a shortcut, okay? But it will at least kind of give you an idea about how this works. So, if we have a look at A first, we've got 3i cross 9j. So, i, j, so i, j, k. i cross j is k. Three nines have cost 27, and so this is 27k. So, I didn't need to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Um, I could just do this directly. You could obviously check these. You know, if you want to check these using a matrix, you can. Now, for the next one, 8i cross 10k. Now, we're not going i, j, k, so we're going the reverse order here. Okay, so that means we're going to have a negative. 8 times 10 is 80. And so uh, i cross k will be minus j. So minus 80j will be my answer. Now, the next one, because we've got uh, the, uh, the vector product is distributive over vector addition, that means this is the same as looking at 2j cross 3i plus 2j cross 4k. So, first of all, 2j cross 3i, or j cross i is minus k, so we're going to have minus 6k. And then we've got 2j cross 4k, j cross k is i, and so we've got plus 8i. Okay, so we can do that directly. So, you know, we probably want to rewrite that as 8i take away 6k, don't we? Okay. Right, let's try with this next one. So 5k cross 2i. Uh, k cross i is j, so we're going to get 10j there. And then we've got 5k cross minus 7j. So k cross j um, is minus i, but we've got the minus there as well, so it's going to be plus 35i. So again, we would probably want to rewrite that as 35i plus 10j. Right, next one. Um, now we've got 3i cross 4i. Now because i and i are obviously parallel to one another, 3i cross 4i is the zero vector. Okay? So there's nothing there. 3i cross with minus 2j, well i cross j is k, so we're going to get minus 6k. And we've got 3i cross with 8k, i cross k is minus j, so we've got minus 24j. So again, we'll probably want to rewrite that. It's minus 24j, minus 6k. Put it in that order. So it starts to feel like uh, expand, just expanding brackets, right? So here we're going to get 4i cross with 2i, 0. 4i cross with 5k. Uh, I cross k is minus j, so we're going to get minus 20j. We've got minus 3k cross with 2i. k cross i is j, so minus 6j. 
And then we've got minus 3k crossed with 5k. Well, that's zero because they're parallel. So we've got minus 26j. Now, as for the last one, we're going to have i crossed with 4i, 0. i crossed with 2j is 2k. i crossed with 3k is going to be minus 3j. Minus j crossed with 4i. So j crossed with i is minus k. So we're going to get plus 4k. Uh, minus j cross with uh, sorry with 2j is 0. Minus j cross with 3k. Well, j cross with k is i, so we've got minus 3i. Then minus k cross with 4i. Uh, k cross with i is j, so minus 4j. Minus k cross with 2j. Um, k cross with j is uh, minus i, so plus 2i. And of course, minus k uh, crossed with 3k is uh, 0. So we've got uh, minus 3i plus 2i, so minus i. We've got minus 3j, take away 4j, so minus 7j. And we've got 2k plus 4k, and so 6k. So that is how we can use the fact that the vector product is distributive over vector addition and subtraction.